So how do we prepare children for the multiplication test in year four? And this is a test imposed by the government, which is intended to check that all children across the country have instant recall of their tables facts. And of course, we as teachers in year four are also concerned, rightly, to make sure children understand multiplication and understand that division and multiplication are inverse operations. So that I'm not just thinking about what are seven threes, I'm also thinking how many threes are there in 21? And that to me as a teacher is just as important, maybe more important. So I need children to understand that inverse relation between division and multiplication. When I'm asking a division question, I'm just asking a multiplication question with a hole in. How many threes are 21? So when I'm preparing children for the test, of course, there are three strategies that I've been using to teach multiplication effectively. The first is that I've been focused on clever counting, i.e. counting in steps of more than one. So counting in threes, three, six, nine, twelve often along a number line, sometimes with arrays, three, a row of three cubes, six cubes, nine cubes, 12 cubes, etc., to make sure they understand what multiplication is, and also commutativity so that they understand that four lots of three is the same as three lots of four, because I turn the array through 90 degrees. So I've been using that clever counting, and I've been focusing on the fact that if you actually you know three fives, then you know five threes. And if you know seven threes, then you know three sevens. Because when you turn that array around, it's the same. And so that's very helpful when wanting children to give an instant answer to a multiplication question. Turning the question around may make it instantly doable. And then also I have been looking at patterns. So I've been trying to point out to children that answers in the five times table always have an answer uh, ending in five or ending in zero. So don't give me an answer that doesn't end in five or zero because I'm going to throw it right back. And even numbers always have an answer which is an even number. So if you're guessing at six eights, don't give me 55 because it can't be. These are even numbers. If there's just one even number, in the multiplication sentence, then the answer is even. And children need to know that because A, it helps if they're guessing and B, it helps them to see the patterns in number which are going to become very important as we go into year five and year six. So using the patterns, using the fact that I can turn around the multiplication fact and instead of doing five eights, I can do eight fives, that all is very helpful in helping children to get that instant recall. I sometimes say they only really need that one table bedded in, and that's the three times, to make most multiplication questions instantly doable. They know their fives, they know their twos, they know their tens. The three times table, if they know it like that, that now you've got a large number, almost three quarters of the multiplication facts you need, if you take into account turning them around, are, are, are there. Nine times has such a strong pattern that children can learn that from the pattern. Of course they sometimes use their fingers and I see nothing wrong with that, you can do it instantly. Six nines, 54. It's instant. It kind of also, the physical movement of using your fingers for say eight nines, that physical movement sometimes helps children internalise the fact. And then there are little tricks, you know, yeah, I teach, I unashamedly teach, I ate and I ate and was sick on the floor for eight eights of 64. Five, six, seven, eight. 56 is seven eights. Five, six, seven, eight sometimes helps. Those little tricks are not, are not useless. They can sometimes help. But the main focus has to be that children have to understand multiplication as well as giving you an instant recall to a, to a times table question. Because if they don't understand multiplication and that division and multiplication are inverse operations, then you cannot do year five.